so I have told y'all all of the good stuff that's in my pack, right? I've gone over all the gear and all my recommendations. So now I'm going to show you how I pack it. Uh, everyone's going to do it differently and your pack will be a little bit different, but this is just my way. So maybe it'll give you all some ideas. But uh, Whitney is holding the camera, so if it's unstable, it's all her fault. <laughs> she says, hey. But anyway, all right, so first things first, um, some of your packs are gonna have these uh, bottom parts here that you can put stuff in, but I just didn't take advantage of mine. I kept it zipped up pretty much. Um, my uh, uh, rain cover for my pack, my pack cover goes in there because it's something that I don't care if it gets wet. Um, so that's basically, I have two categories here, things that can get wet if they have to, and things that I don't want getting wet. So this can get wet, so it would go, um, I would store it in this part right here, um, and just stuff it down in there. That way I could pull it out quickly if it starts raining. So you want your rain gear and um, anything, you know, like your pack cover for rain to be easily accessible um, if it starts raining. So anyway, uh, so for things that I don't want getting wet, that's clothes and my sleeping bag and basically that's it. Um, I mean, you don't want anything getting wet, but some things can and some things can't. So first thing, and I'm putting in my pack, and the last thing I pull out when I get to camp is my sleeping bag. So um, because you want your tent up before you put your sleeping bag, pull your sleeping bag out, right? So anyway, this is a black contractor bag. Um, this you can get from Walmart and you know, big pack or whatever. Um, it's, it's pretty thick. I don't remember the thickness on it exactly, but um, anyway, you want it to be, you know, pretty sturdy because it's got to last you the whole trail of opening and closing and opening and closing. Um, it needs to be, um, you know, pretty thick, like a regular black garbage bag isn't going to do the trick because you don't want it torn through because it has a hole in it and your stuff gets wet. So, um, I don't remember the exact thickness on that this, but it lasted me the whole time. So, it was, it was pretty good. Alright, so I'm going to put my sleeping bag in that. Um, and that's all the way down at the bottom of my pack. So there goes my sleeping bag. And you're going to get pretty used to cramming stuff in. You're going to get stronger. Um, okay, then next I put my sleeping pad. And uh, it's really not the end of the world if this gets wet, you know. But I, I just, why not keep it dry, right? So that goes next. And then my clothes. Um, the clothes that I don't want getting wet. So, I put, well, let's pretend here, right? So these are the things I'm gonna be wearing that day. My shoes, my socks, my bra, oh, and underwear, ex officios. Um, and then uh, I'll have on my shorts and my tank top. Okay, so that's what I'm wearing to hike in. Then, I've got my three extra pairs of socks and one to sleep in and then two extra to shuffle out while hiking. Um, my leggings to sleep in and my long sleeve top to sleep in. All right, and this is in my dry bag. Roll that up. And here is my puffy coat. I got one that um, folds into itself into one of the pockets. So this goes in the bag next because I don't want these getting wet. All right. All right, so those are all in there and good. And yep, I'm good. So then what I did, um, I just, I folded this down, just like rolled it down. Um, some people put all of their stuff and then kind of tie it on top, but I just, I want to make sure that stuff stays dry. So I just rolled it down and then you push it down. You want everything in there snug. All right. Then next I put my tent. Um, some people put their tent last, but then if you stop during the day and you're getting food out and stuff like that, you're always having to put your tent to the side. How bad would that be if you left it sitting in the woods where you took a break? So um, I just put this at the, you know, on top of my contractor bag, but below like my food bag and all that stuff because 
I'm going to be pulling that stuff out during the day. So, um, so that goes in next. And okay, so then what's next? Um, it doesn't really matter at this point your order. Um, it's just you know by preference, but. I'm not going to be using my pot except maybe at lunch during the day. So I would put my pot in next. And this is all, I'm just like stacking this stuff all on top of each other. And then next to my pot, I put, um, cause this is like your toiletries bag, your electronics bag. And notice I keep my electronics in a Ziploc bag inside of this. Um, but I also have my toilet paper and baby wipes and stuff like that in this bag. So you want it quickly accessible because you never know when you're just going to have to go. So anyway, that goes in beside the pot. You can see in there on top of my tent and beside the pot. Okay. And then next, um, I would probably, let's see, put my water filter. So this is my clean water bag and it connects to the hose here um, that runs over my shoulder and onto my strap. That way you can just drink while you're hiking. Um, so anyway, this goes last. But your filter, you know, you're not gonna be pulling it out like too, too much, um, but you know, just depending on how much water you tote. Um, so that kind of goes in there beside the rest of this stuff. All right, so that's all like on one, layer together. Pot, toiletries bag, water filter. You can see my tent down there. Okay. So then I would put in, I always kept my spork in my food bag. Um, everyone has their preferences, like I said, and my fuel kit. Um, so, uh, and of course it depends on how many days of food you have also. So that would go in next. And just start getting full here. All right. And then I put in my water. So you have your water in here. Well done. Okay, there we go. And my water would sit on top. And that's another reason why I don't put everything in the same bag together. Imagine if this water glider busted, which I've not screwed it tightly before and had it leak everywhere, and that stuff in the bag, the contractor bag at the very bottom stayed dry. So, um, you know, you just, you, you wear, you have your pack cover on your pack when it rains, but you never want to take a chance of getting your sleeping bag wet. So anyway, that's everything that goes on the inside. Now you're wondering like, wait a second, you have all of this other stuff still. Well, I will show you where all of it goes. All right. So, well, we don't need that. I'm wearing that in my shoe. All right, so rain gear. I kept my rain gear on the outside of my pack so I could get it really quick if I needed it because if it starts raining, you want to put it on pretty fast. So I kept it down in this mesh part down here. I just stuck it down in there. And there's really no right or wrong way to do this. It's just, you know, you'll probably change it a hundred times before you're ever done hiking the trail. So, and then my camp shoes went right here. Ooh, this stuff smells right. <laughs> Your stuff never smells clean again. All right, and then, oh yes, very vital piece. Your, um, your collegiate football team shaker, you must have that to display on Saturdays, of course. And, uh, War Eagle. And then my beloved handkerchief, um, depending on where you want it, you know, on the back, if it's a P rag, um, or up on the front, you know, if you're gonna have a runny nose that day or, whatever just somewhere accessible okay and then um tent poles i didn't want them getting bent and stuff so i didn't put them on the inside i put them on the outside here just like that okay and then 
because I didn't want to be squeezing something in and out of this with the tent poles all the time, like not the water bottle I was going to use frequently. Um, cause I would keep like instant breakfast in my clean water bottle, but my dirty water bottle I put with my tent poles. Okay. And then clean water bottle on the other side. I would often also put sunglasses in this one. All right. And what's left is knife and pepper spray. I kept that in my left hip belt pocket. And then my um, phone would go in this one and snacks in both. And then if you want to put on your pack cover, you can. And it just goes, whoops, upside down. It goes like this. They'll go on pretty much the same. You have like a Velcro strip here that goes around the loop up top. So you would just, you know, attach that through that and then it goes around the outside. That's it, you're ready to roll. But um, whenever I didn't have this guy on, um, see I had to make a quick repair. I always have duct tape, you have to make repairs. So, um, but whenever I didn't have this on, uh, I just take it off. Like I said, you wanna keep your stuff, your rain gear where you can get it quick. There you go. That's how I pack my bag. <laughs> There's no perfect way to do it, but it's just what I found out was most efficient for me and you'll find your own way to do it. But if you just want a recommendation to start with, I would suggest this. But if y'all have any specific questions, let me know and we'll be happy to answer them. I hope y'all got something out of this. All right, so if y'all missed the video about what is in my pack, you can look back on Monday's video for that, uh, for like gear review and stuff. Um, but a couple other things I wanted to address. A lot of people have asked me like what my pack weighed when I started, when I finished. So the biggest thing other than your appetite that will fluctuate is your pack weight. So my pack started off at like 38 pounds um, at Amicalola when I weighed it, but that was with my trekking poles hanging on my pack, two liters of water, six days of food, um, uh, with all of the gear that I hadn't got rid of yet, uh, like extra clothes and stuff like that. So um, as it get, got warmer, I definitely cold a lot of that off. I think the lightest that my pack was was 27 pounds, um, and that was during the summertime when I had the fleece sleeping bag instead of my um, 23 degree bag. Uh, but I usually toted about three to five days worth of food and I ended up carrying a liter of water and then I even slimmed down from that down to um, like 0.7 liters, like just one little smart water bottle full. Um, and then I would just chug at the water sources and then just carry it a little bit because the lighter the pack is the better. But I mean, I slowly cold things out and when I finished with my all of my warm clothes, my warm sleeping bag, and all that, my pack weighed 28 pounds um, at uh, Katahdin. And that was, of course, not with a bunch of food in it because it was towards the end of a hike, but um, that's, you know, like when I finished what it weighed. So I was pretty proud of myself um, considering I didn't have like one of the fancy lap packs and, you know, all the fancy lap gear. Um, so it's possible to keep your pack weight down even if you don't have, you know, the most expensive lightweight ultralight gear. Um, you know, it's just a matter of, do I really need this? Like, do I really need that? Or can I go with something that's a little bit lighter? Or, you know, do I really need three changes of clothes? Or can I go with just one? So, um, it's all about, you know, you and what your preferences are. So, um, but yeah, if y'all have any more questions, just let me know. Okay, so I am here at Amicalola uh, State Park. And I am about to hike the approach trail. Uh, just weighed my pack in and signed the register.